This is only my outline. With COVID-19 keeping us at home, many of us are becoming food insecure. Staying home to stay safe means we're not able to go to work, which means a lot of us no longer have a steady income anymore, which can make going grocery shopping difficult. Not to mention a lot of grocery stores are struggling to stay stocked right now. We're experiencing food insecurity for the first time, and we're unsure whether or not we're going to be able to get enough food for our households. A lot of families worried about that long before COVID-19, and are now more unsure than ever. Food insecurity is genuinely a problem in our community, and there's a lot of ways that we could address it. We could help people that struggle with transportation by providing Uber services or building bus stations. And then for people that live in food deserts, we could build grocery stores closer to them. But we ourselves can't actually build those. The best way for us to get involved directly is to help low-income families through food banks, food pantries, and canned food drives. Because of my experience with Interact Club, I've seen that they can be effective and I see I've seen how they can be effective and I've seen how they can impact low income families. Because preventing food insecurity prevents all their chronic health issues that come with it, such as to be <laughs> obesity, depression, heart disease, and cancer. So if we help ineffective food banks become more effective, we can really help a lot of people in our community and help bring food insecurity to an end because food banks are usually only a temporary fix because they depend on donations and volunteers that means they don't always get all the resources that they need it's like how right now walmart isn't stocked very well so if food banks aren't stocked very well they're not going to be able to feed a lot of people that's why we need to donate and it's why we need to put in the effort for it Motlow is a great place to start because they have their own canned food drive every year. But from what I've seen, the boxes usually seem pretty empty, and that makes me assume that the, the canned food drive is not very effective. My high school hosts a canned food drive, and my senior class alone raised over 5,000 items. And there's only 88 kids in my graduating class. Motlow's Fayetteville campus alone has five times the students. So if we all put in the effort to do this, then we could raise a lot more than 5,000 items and help a lot of people in Lincoln County's community. And then a great place to go shopping could be Save-A-Lot. I've gone shopping in Fayetteville Save-A-Lot for a canned food drive and I've bought over 100 items for less than $60. It's a great place to stock up on low price food to donate. And then if you can't go grocery shopping or help donate food directly, you could always just donate cash. Nalogy Whaley did an interview with Joel Burke from the Coalition Against Hunger in New York, and he actually states and encourages cash donations over food donations because of how ineffective food banks can be sometimes. These cash donations could also go towards buying more vital nutrient-dense foods because the Journal of Community Health did a review of food banks and found that a lot of food banks lack in nutrient-dense foods like dairy, vegetables, and fruit. And so since we can't really donate a bag of carrots to a food bank, we could always just donate the money so they can provide it. And so by donating money, we could also keep these food banks around more frequently because the events that I worked with in Winchester only happen once or twice a year, which means in between visits to these events, families are going to remain food insecure. So if we make them more frequent and make them more effective, then we can truly help these people in our community. The government on their own does a lot to address food insecurity in America through the, through the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAPS, and the National School Lunch Program. Food and Research Action Center states that SNAPS is one of the nation's most direct defenses against hunger. And then the National School Lunch Program, according to PR Newswire, helps, helps 22 million kids through free or reduced price meals. However, Four out of five kids lose access to these free meals during the summer, and a lot of people struggle to claim SNAP's benefits. So, Elena David goes on to say that food banks are a great way to help fill in the gaps that the government can't fill, and she also states that some families use food banks as their primary source of food. So if food banks aren't properly stocked, then these families are going to be without food because they depend solely on food banks. And that's why it's important for us to get involved and to donate. A great place to start volunteering and working could be one day outreach in Winchester. I've worked there and I love working there because it's a great day where businesses, doctors, and nurses get together to provide free medical and dental services, food, and clothes. 
and I usually work in the food section and all I have to do is either help hand out the food or help carry boxes of food to people's car for them. And then there's also a mobile food pantry hosted at Abundant Life Church in Winchester. This church is stocked full of food and they need all the help they can get handing it out after we're done sorting it and bagging it. Because after my Interact Club leaves after doing their part, it can get chaotic really quickly. And these events are hosted by churches. So Lincoln County churches could even host something similar because John Arnold writes a book on how to do this. With $5,382, you can purchase enough food that would meet 60% of an area's estimated need. So an average church has around 70 members. And if three churches got together and each member donated $25, then you could host a really effective food bank at your church. Not to mention that you could always just donate money directly to websites such as Feeding America or Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee. $10 a month to Feeding America provides 200 meals a month, and then $1 buys four meals to Second Harvest Food Bank. Investing in these food banks and helping them become more effective can seriously help people in our community, because without us getting involved in them, they're just going to stay a temporary fix. Staying active in food banks makes them more frequent and keeps feeding these families year-round, ultimately ending food insecurity and all the chronic health problems that come with it. By getting food banks to their full potential, we get everyone in the community to their full potential.